I think this is a massive turning point for the game in terms of where we've led to. So I think if we think about us as competitive players, our lead up to this is like get to the first Pro Tour. You know what I mean? Like be, be a pro player, get to the Pro Tour and enjoy it. Coming to this event, no matter the results of this weekend, it, it's kind of irrelevant because what is most important is enjoying the experience and the process and this is all becoming part of it for us. Like Brennan said before, like just crazy to think that, you know, we're here in New York, we're going to play cards this weekend and uh, win, lose, draw, whatever, it's going to be an awesome time and we're going to meet amazing people. It's kind of like a proof of concept kind of showing that we're here to stay. So I think there's like an evolution of the flesh and blood player base. We see more players from other games that are deeply entrenched in those games like Magic the Gathering come over and they take an, they take an incredibly different take, right? You start playing flesh and blood, sort of ground floor, you know, we kind of maybe, I don't know, we get stuck on our old ideas and they bring a fresh look, you know? So I'm very excited for some maybe more famous, more entrenched and just longtime Magic pros that come over and shake up the game because I'm all for it. Naja, im Grunde genommen, als, als wir damals das erste Mal uns unterhalten haben, da war ich ja noch relativ Anfänger, würde ich schätzen. Wir hatten zwar die DM schon hinter uns, aber wir haben ja alle relativ spät erst angefangen. Du ja noch, ja noch viel später als ich, äh, einen Monat ungefähr. Aber wir waren ja alle noch relativ frisch und neu. Mittlerweile sind wir äh, gut dabei. Wir haben schon ähm, jetzt auch alle anderen Helden mal kennengelernt. Damals waren wir so ein bisschen... Äh, sehr stark auf das eine Deck fokussiert und haben das, den Rest so ein bisschen ignoriert. Das kennen wir jetzt alles schon und ähm, ja, ich, ich finde es gut, dass sich das jetzt so entwickelt hat. Also die Spielerzahl wächst, äh, man merkt es vor Ort bei den Turnieren, die Turniere werden größer. Wir hatten jetzt ja auch in, in Battleharden in Frankfurt, da war, war auch ausverkauft quasi. Also das Spiel macht nach wie vor Spaß. We haven't had players from Europe, players from the US, players from Canada, players from Asia Pacific all come together to play and lay it down, right? And see like who really is the best of the best. There's been some smack talk out there about which region has the best players. So now's the time for people to, I guess, pony up and, and um, see who, who the best players are around the world in the first ever international pro tour. So yeah, definitely come here with a goal in mind, you know, to assert American dominance. I think that it is widely accepted by the player base of flesh and blood. Um, in terms of competition, not too worried. I'd say from a humble perspective, we're probably about 99% to win. <laughs> um, but you know, things can happen. I'm just excited to compete, right? A lot of people, they talk a lot of game. They think that they've, uh, you know, they can be on our level, but you know, we'll see. Also wir sehen ja viele Leute auch aus der Magic Community wieder. Also die Leute aus Polen, Leute aus Belgien, äh, Leute aus Dänemark. England, die man alle ja schon kennt über die ganze äh, Karriere, die man in Magic hat, die dann auch zu Flächen Blatt gewechselt sind. Auf die freut man sich natürlich halt immer ein bisschen austauschen, ein bisschen quatschen. Das ist immer, immer schön gewesen. Deswegen ist es halt dieses äh, Dinner wahrscheinlich eine gute Möglichkeit, halt da die Leute mal kennenzulernen. Man liest ja immer von vielen. Es gibt ja die Arsenal Pass Leute, dann gibt es ja halt den Hayden Dale aus Australien. I just think as we look back on this weekend and in years to come, it is going to be one of those landmark events in the, in the history of trading card games. Hey guys, I'm James White. I've been up in New York, New Jersey, running the first Flesh and Blood Pro Tour, sold out Pro Tour number one. There's this great rivalry between Europe and America at the moment. We had the call in Krakow a few weeks back and few Americans came over to challenge the Europeans and they actually won the call in Krakow. So that like planted the seeds for this great transatlantic rivalry. Of course, the Europeans had to come down to New Jersey for the Pro Tour to, to seek revenge. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, this weekend was the realization of a dream. When we started Flesh and Blood, designing it all the way back in 2012, launched 2019, it was always with a vision to be a truly global game. Pro Tour number one, we saw players from over 25 countries competing and that really just was our vision coming together right at that time, at that place for Pro Tour number one, a truly global game celebrated by players competing for all the glory to become the first ever flesh and blood Pro Tour champion.